So we are back with another episode of The Journey with Brandon Thomas. I am here today with Tori Brown. Bacha. So, mm -hmm. first question. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. I wish I had a seatbelt I could click to really confirm. Oh, all the sound effects. And visual right. effects. Oh, I could put that in post, the seatbelt click. That might be a thing. You ready? Oh, okay. okay. Oh, my God. Cooking up. Cooking up. Um... What are the three greatest moments of your life? Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Why didn't you like prepare me for this? Because that moment right there, the is the moment. I feel like I haven't even I haven't thought about three. I've thought of like maybe one. Okay, so maybe one sounds like two, and I can settle for that. But that third one's gonna come to you. And here's also what's happening. Oh my what's happening is that you're judging the moments. They're 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 in your head right now. You're like, oh my god. No, but like when I think, I try to think of like when I think of that question, what pops out, and like the, obviously those are the moments. Like without criticizing and being like critical, like oh, is that really anything? You yeah. know, because like it doesn't matter. Like if it is to me, it is. You know. Yeah. But um, I'm literally trying to think of like what Got even it. like pops out yeah, in yeah, my yeah. mind. Not perfect. And. The first things I think of, the first two, I mean, they are volleyball related because that was like, you know, yeah. where my, like my biggest successes have been in my life. Thus far. Thus far. Continue. Um, on this journey. Ah. And so one of them being when we won the Big West Conference mm. and we, I mean, that was, like, the best year that Cal State Fullerton has ever had in volleyball. And it was just, like, a really big, huge, massive accomplishment right. for all of us. And I just remember, like, the feeling of that and, like, the com camaraderie of our team and feeling like we accomplished what was, like, seemed to be impossible for our school. Totally. Um. So that's, like, one of those moments. Uh -huh. Um. I guess the other moment that like pops out and like this this one I like get judgy over because okay. it's like such a it was like the best game that I ever had okay. and like I felt like validated uh -huh. in being in that moment and like playing the sport and like you know I felt validated like okay I am good at this no, like totally. I had um it was a game at UC Irvine. Mm -hmm. It was, like, when I got... I don't even know the numbers because I was just, like, oh, my God. I don't, like, excitement. I'm going off. Yeah, like, Look I'm killing these yeah. kills. Okay. <laughs> um, no, but I had, like, I don't know, like, 22 kills or something like that. Wow. And, like, a really good hitting percentage and, like, a bunch of... Like, it was just, like, the best game that I had had thus far. And I just felt like I couldn't miss. And, like, right, right, right. I was just, like, I felt... It felt so good. In the zone. Yeah, I was, like, really in the zone. I was just, like, give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball. And, like, right. everything, like, just felt like it couldn't go wrong and right. um and then just like finishing that game and like feeling like okay like I belong here right um and I was just like proud of myself and, and was that early in your no that was um in my junior junior year mm -hmm. um because mind you I had gone through freshman and sophomore was a lot of like learning learning curve mm -hmm. mostly right. like rebuilding my technique like relearning a lot of things because right. I got I transferred from another school so I like had a new coach and I felt like everything got broken down like I felt like I sucked when I first got to Fullerton like I was not doing well and I felt like whoa I actually suck um because I was living off of surviving off of athleticism for so long right that my technique wasn't very great got it, got it. so when I was against a bunch of other girls who were just as good as you know, I was, or if not better, it was like, okay, can I really hang? And anyway, so after all going through all of that, right. I kind of started getting it. And then that's when we had like, um, like our team as a whole was getting it. And that's when we had like really good years. I personally had a very good couple of years. Right, and right, so it was like, in that moment it was like, okay, like that's why I are. felt validated. Like, okay, I was able to right. get it together and I am good at this sport. Like, okay. Totally. Okay. And I think, like, that's, like, such a thing because I've seen people that that get to a good space or, like, get to a space and they can't get to that next level. So, mm -hmm. I think, like, that absolutely matters. And I think it's, like, a thing that isn't talked about enough. Mm -hmm. But that's another day. Mm -hmm. um, what was the third thing? Oh, um, greatest moment of my life? Yep. 
Like my whole life is flashing before my eyes. That's it. Like think about the spelling bee back in Miss Jones class. Um, what? Your birthday when you my turned. Uh, what. Oh, you're trying to help me. You see, I thought um, alive. No doubt, no yeah, doubt. I mean, I can't think okay. of like a specific oh, moment. When your mom came. No, I'm literally cri- thinking about my mom, but like. Christmas morning. No. No, I okay. don't. I don't. I feel. Oh, Thanksgiving. Stop. When, you're like throwing. You're okay, okay. messing up my okay, train okay. of thought. Um. Oh my gosh, that's like actually really hard. I don't, okay. Uh, I don't have like. If it comes to you, I'll 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 circle stop back. Stop what we're I'll doing. I'll circle back and drop that. It's in the back of my mind. Okay. If that's it, hard. I know life is hard, but we're tough people. Okay. So that's we're gonna right. we're gonna sort this out. That's okay. Right. So I brought Tori to the pod today to talk about something that I think doesn't get talked about enough. Um. So Tori. And I went to college together. Tori was the shiznai in volleyball, right? And um, she played volleyball in college, and now she has a regular life. We've been out of college for at least, what, 12 days, 13 days? You know, we're, we're fresh, <laughs> fresh out. Fresh out. We're, we're fresh out. Fresh out, so um, you know, we just figure it out. <laughs> so we're going to guess for the rest of this year. But uh-huh. what is it like t- transitioning from... A college athlete or playing a sport your whole life and being identified as an athlete into transitioning into like the real world or transitioning and we use the real world very loosely right but uh just transitioning into life after sports and i also want um a female perspective on it because i think that a lot of men um get the question yeah. more and i feel like a lot of men are we're going to lie to you. Uh, so, you know, women may tell the truth. We'll find out here in a sec. Um, but I also think it's like a, I think it's like a difficult thing. I wasn't a college athlete, but I, I hung around with them because I'm tall. Um, this is, that was my past. Everybody's like, oh yeah, you're tall. Come in with us. So, um, you know what I mean? I was gang gang, but I wasn't. Uh, yeah. No, I, no, no, no. I feel you. I'm just. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so obviously, yeah, like you said, I think that that narrative usually comes from a male's perspective. Right, right. And, um, for women, obvious, I don't want to say obviously, but, um, in, from my point of view, Mm -hmm. you go in, like, knowing that it's not like, oh, I'm about to go league, like, after this, like, so for women, like. Oh, damn. Yeah, there isn't, there isn't, like that next chapter after college like it exists mind you like i have friends that played i have a couple friends that played soccer professionally and Mm -hmm. they just recently actually retired i can like kind of touch on that too but and then i know a few girls that played volleyball overseas Mm -hmm. but it's just very rare and i did have an opportunity to do that i was unfortunate in tearing my acl like Mm -hmm. right before my senior season so that just kind of screwed me up for like getting recruited after senior season. Right, right. Um, but that is a possibility, but that's not really, like, the ultimate goal. Right. Um, Damn, that's so true. Yeah, so, obviously, the most popular is basketball, WNBA. So, if you're in that position, maybe you would think past college. But going into college, you literally are like, what am I going to do? Like, I need to study this so that I can do this as soon as I graduate. Yo, so you mean to tell me you y'all actually going to class to learn stuff? Yeah, like we you, have to have like <laughs> we are studying and getting good grades. Oh, because we're shoot. gonna get jobs. Like we have to get jobs after. So it's literally like you know, like all the athletes, the male athletes, like yeah, just give me whatever major yeah, 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 I can yeah. like just get by with. But like we really had to like think about what right. we're gonna study and be serious about it because that's what we have to do. Dang. Like no one was like sitting in practice like yeah. Like, fuck all this. Like, right. I'm, I'm going league after. I'm pro. I don't care. Like, right. no, like the, the mindset is completely different. So we're kind of more prepared for it in that way. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there is still a definite transition mm-hmm. that you have to go through. I mean, I remember talking to Amanda, you know, her, my friend, Amanda also played volleyball and we like, after college, we would talk about it. Like, who am I? Like, what am I doing? Like we were still feeling like insignificant 
because mm. we lived on being volleyball players for so long. Right. And that, like, just gave us a certain sense of security, confidence. Like, that's where we got, like, most of our self-worth. Like, that's what we were successful at. So it was like, oh, this makes me feel like I mean something. 100%. And so you definitely go through, like, a phase of, like, wait, what am I good at outside of that? You know? Because you don't even have the time to, like, figure, like, have other hobbies or, like, do other things. It's like you play volleyball and you go to class and you go home. Right. And so once you get out, it's like, and even for me, I, I got my degree in like what I wanted to do. And then even after that, I was like, do I even want to do this? Like I kind of hit the same, mind you, a lot of people go through that yeah. athletes or not. Like you still figure out what you want to do. A lot of people change careers. That's normal. Right. Um, and so it's some of that like intertwined with like identity, like self identity right. at the same time. Okay. Also, hmm. I, as we're in this space. I'm telling you this because I witnessed it. How does it feel also being like good? Do you think you gas me up? But, it, but that's but that's what I'm saying is I feel like I was there. I synced it. I appreciate. Okay. I appreciate the praise. I got really it, do. It. I don't. I'm not gonna say like oh I'm humble, but I genuinely don't like. I just see so many people that were better than me, so I'm like I wasn't that great. Okay. But okay, but. No, that's, that's really ties into what I was saying. It's like right. when you're like really good at something right? and people like know you as that person and then it's all just like gone and you're like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, what am I doing? Who she am I? Graduation. You know? And you like, I don't know. It's kind of sad a little bit. And even when it comes to like working out, you spend so many years being trained. You have a coach. You do this. You have a schedule. Like everything's on a schedule. Right. And then you get out and there's no coach. There's no nothing. Like, you got to do every. Like, if you want to work out, you got to go work out on your own and, like, make your own schedule. And, which is fine. Like, that's normal. Right. But when you're going from, like, a structure that was put, placed upon you and, like, given to you. And right. then, like, that's all you've known your whole life. And then it's, like, you're just spit out and, like, now you got to, like, do it yourself. Your right. It's not that hard. But that's just part of the transition is, like, forcing yourself, like, okay. I got to find a gym to go to, like, mm, never been to, like, right. a regular gym, you know, because you have, like, <laughs> I mean, I've been to Yo, one before, but, right. you know, like, we don't work out at a regular gym right, or, right, like, right. stuff like that, and it's, like, it's just very weird. Sign it's, like, finding a new, yeah, literally, <laughs> like, is this what we do? So I just scan my finger. Yeah. Then, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So just, like, little things like that is, like, re kind of, like, restructuring your life and mm-hmm. your mind. Totally. Just your mental and telling yourself because even my friend Amanda and I we were trying so hard to like keep playing volleyball like we were playing in these leagues and like that was the best part of the week like right going and like smashing on these people that don't know how to play like they played high school volleyball and we walk in like we were literally coming in and like killing people yes and and it felt good though it was like yes like I remember this like it feels great but then it's like and then you go home and you got work at 9 a.m and you're (laughs) it's just it's a very strange right transition totally um but like i don't think it is as bad as it is for men because we're prepared for it mm, that's deep you know like, and it's like that's so obvious but i didn't i didn't take the the extra step to think of that like yeah like yeah unless you're like that one percent like mm-hmm. you come to do four and that's it and be out, like you really had to like think about school that's Wow. Like we, like for us, it was like we played volleyball to get the scholarship to go to school. Mm. You know what I mean? Instead of like vice versa. It's right. like volleyball paid for That's us cool. to get an education. Right, right. As opposed to like. Like I'm using this to try yeah, to get to, to the get next to level. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Uh, That's yeah. crazy. Um, Was it depressing at all after like when you realize like it's bit. over? Yeah, a little bit. Like I'm not very like susceptible to being like very sad or like depressed I would say okay. um just not how I am Bless. but but I feel like in that time I did like question a lot mm. about myself and yeah just like my self confidence and like my identity was it was a little depressing how long did it take you to transition from okay I'm done with volleyball let's start life or did it happen like simultaneous or was it like a day when you like woke up like 
okay, let me put my well, knee was, pads down. Well, like I said, we were still playing. I was. Right. I still got knee pads in my car. I still have a bag in my car with all my volleyball stuff. Yo, just in case a <laughs> pickup game day. jumps off. No, because we like we played in the league, and I just right, never right. threw it away. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna play again. I feel it. Okay. Um, but it was more so like you graduate, and like I had to get a job, so. Mm you're kind of like for like you got to move on right um but i think the way to hold on was to try to play as much as i could mm. and like still feel attached to it totally. i actually even tried to go play overseas for a minute um my coach was helping me like get a taped a highlight reel together and like to send something out i was not as good as i used to be because again i had torn my acl i gained right. weight like i just it was not the same and um, so I was trying, and like even he was like, mm, I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I'm like, just send the tape out, right. there, just give me a shot. Me a solid. And um, yeah, it just didn't work out. So I was like, still kind of trying. Right. And I was like, kind of, I don't want to say hanging around him, but I was like helping him coach in his, you know. Right, um, right, right. And I, I could tell when I look back, I'm like, I was still trying to like, right, just to be, in be a part of it, and like. Oh, like go watch this Fullerton game. Da, 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 da. Like I only went to I think one, but right. um, there was still that attachment for a little bit. But right. I was still had to go and start working, and so it kind of forces you to move on into the real world. Mm. Do you think that work worked at work worked as a lubricant to get you into life? In terms of like, I just have to do this thing and this thing. Now, you know, you kind of change the the time that you spend doing this. Now you're at work. So it kind of helps with the idea of like getting into something else. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, because at first I was just interning. I had to intern before I like really, I was like interning, but it was like a paid internship. So it was like, like living at home, you know, like living at home, like, because I can't afford to pay for rent, but like doing this part time, whatever. And so I'm like, okay, I actually like this. Like, I started to like, mm. I was, like, interning at this production company. I was like, oh, I, I, this is what I want to do. Like, I want to be that producer. Like, so it kind of, like, turned my attention right. to be good at something else. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, I had my degree, and I knew what I, like, wanted to do. I wanted to work in television and all that. Right. So it kind of did ignite a fire where I was like, oh, okay, this is where I'm going to go now. Like, this is what I want to do. Right. And even that change right. but um right. 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 but yeah. at that time yes it was like a way to refocus and find something new that i liked totally for speaking generally it's okay. still like a transition period because i just changed careers right 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 and, and so when i graduated college i got my degree in broadcast journalism mm-hmm. at first i wanted to be a sports reporter okay yeah, yeah and then yeah. during the process of like going through those classes i was like no i don't no um, because I think they're very annoying and like, I didn't want to be that person that was like annoying and like, I don't know. I just started just to like change my opinion about it. Didn't feel right in your spirit. I just, it could be me. And then, um, I started doing like production behind the scenes. Uh-huh. I was an editor, a video editor for right. a show. Right, right. And then, um, my show basically got cut, mm. killed. Mm. buried Damn. dead Ooh. so when that was happening i was already like training on the side mm-hmm. personal i was training at a gym because i like that and everyone always asked me like can you train me can you train me and mind right. you i was in shape because i played volleyball my whole life right i knew how to work out because of volleyball like i had great weight coaches and like you know all these trainers all my life so that's how i learned all that that's how i kind of started to get into fitness i was approached a lot like at the gym mm. do you train what do you do this and that this and that and then I was like, let me start, I started training my friends, right. and then I actually got a job training, like, early morning, like, 6 and 7 o'clock class before I went to work at 9, mm. and then when I found out we were going to get the cut, mm. I was like, well, you know what, this might be a perfect time to, like, Just slide. step over into fitness, like, full time, because I've never given it my mm. full attention, Right. so I did that, and I've been doing that, I've been coaching at gyms and personal training for two years now Mm -hmm. and then um yeah so this all happened and then i'm like okay where am i gonna go when we come out of this right because i'm not returning to the gym that i worked at so i have to like come up with a new plan of like what i'm gonna do with myself am i gonna like just go personal training start a company you know so it's like it right now it's like what am i gonna do next like that's where i am okay so 
So when you like start the editing thing, right, and then you're doing that, and then you like just transition, is that passion still there at all, or is it just well, kind of like when when I did that transition, I always said I was like, well, like video editing is a skill that I just have. Like uh, it's not gonna go away. My drama need to brush up. Like yeah, I yeah, forget yeah. things, gotta get, whatever. Gotta get tight. Yeah, but I still I feel like I could always go back to that. Right. Um, <laughs> the messed up part about it is, is there was a moment where I was like, well, maybe I could freelance, like do some videos here and there on the side. And the company that I worked for deleted, like, everything that we had off of the internet. Oh, my God. This yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of messed up. So, I couldn't even, and I don't have my work, compu- like, my, the hard drives, all my work, I do not have it. So, I can't make a reel. Oh, <laughs> no. I, I can't show any of the work that I did. I can't, oh, it's Damn. gone. Like, they delete. There's, like, a couple. Right. From, like, when Some we Lucy's, first, right. like, switched over. Like, they have it on a different channel. But, anyway, everything is gone. So, I was like, oh, I can't even edit. Like, unless it was someone that I really, like, knew and trusted me. And they were like, no, I know. Like, right. and then they let me do it. But, That's like, crazy. I can't. I don't have anything to show for anything. Right. That's crazy. Well, you know, I got plenty of editing to be done here if you wanted to. You know? Just really get a reel together. <laughs> <laughs> I would let you. For free. I would let you get your real for the experience. You know what I mean? Do you want to develop a real? I got plenty oh, issues. Yeah, yeah sure. Just something I'd to think love about. to. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it's messed up, right? So it was kind of like life pushing you into. Yeah, and so I feel like I I couldn't even really go back to that if I tried again, unless it was a situation where it's like I knew someone that would trust me with their stuff, but. Then, <laughs> but then I was like, well, that's something I can use in my fitness stuff. Like, you know, obviously I can edit my own videos. I won't yeah. need anyone for that. Blah, 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 blah. Totally. But, um, I don't know. Even that I'm still figuring out because I don't really make videos anymore. Okay. And <laughs> I'm oh. trying to figure out which direction I want to go. Shoot. Okay. Cause I strayed away from the Instagram thing yeah, 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 and the yeah. YouTube thing. Got and it. I was like, I'm just going to like train no, no offense, love, but like in real life, like yeah, not yeah. on Instagram, but like just people in real Training life. People. Um, yeah. And you know, just physically in front of me. Yeah. And I don't knock it because I still consider, I'm like, should I still like try to do that? Even though I'm like way like behind the, right, right. the trend, the but algorithm. yeah, like I'm behind by millions of followers at this yeah, point, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, yep. <laughs> that's where I am right now. Trying to like figure out the next step in that realm. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. If there's anything that like, so if you were to leave fitness, is there anything that you would think to do? You know what's I'm so, so funny? I, I, I think about it all the time. I'm like, okay. what would I do? But you know what's so funny is I was just thinking to myself the other day. This is like not like a real okay. thing. But I was thinking to myself the other day because I'm very obsessed with like science right now. Mm. And I was like, is it too late to like study like astrophysics? Oh, shit. Is it too late to like become an astronomer? I feel like they be going to school and so smart, like, from such a young age. But, right. like, I'm so obsessed with, like, yeah. planets and okay. stars. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know what they did. I'm and, like, uh, yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah, astronomers, like, they study <laughs> Astronomer. the yeah. sky and yes. the galaxies. and Totally. Um, f- but, yeah, that, like, really interests me. But not that I would, like, actually do anything in that. Um, but that's Yeah. Um, first of all, it's, it's never too late. Um, what do you not like science or something? No, I don't not like science. I just I didn't even know what it was. Like I didn't. I, didn't, oh, you don't I mean, I could put like it together, ast- but I didn't know if it was like obviously not an astronaut. You know what I mean? I knew astronomer. I knew it was like in the sky. It was like some stars, <laughs> some planets. I didn't know if it was like astrology, a Jace. Oh, you know what like I mean? I'm like, oh, you trying to see where the, where the Virgos at? I'm a palm- I could be like, no, I couldn't be a palm. Okay, got that out. I'm not doing that. Um, perfect, perfect. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm, t- I'm really thinking about it. I'm like, what would I do for my life? But I know that like one of my life dreams mm-hmm. would be to have to own slash run a um, like sports facility, mm-hmm. you know, like for kids that train basically like Mamba Academy, but like right. over here. Cause like that's so far. And I've even so before far. I even knew what that was, like I was right. always like, it would be so cool to have a place like basketball, volleyball, have the courts have a little football turf on the side right. and like all the coaches, trainers, and like that's where kids come to train. Do you think that's every athlete's dream to some degree? 
Yeah, for sure. Because I would love to open up a place. For sure. And, like, I don't know why there aren't more, though. That's why. Because I'm, like, if that's what everyone thinks of, like, yo, it would be so dope. Like, you know, because you're kind of, like, giving back to the community and, like, to the kids of the future. And it, like, feels good to, like, want to be a part of that. So, like, why are there not more of those? I don't know. Or do I not know about them? I don't don't think they're out there like that. Yeah, like, that would be, obviously, a great thing to do in the future. Yeah. I think so. So if you get the money, <laughs> let me <laughs> know, you. and I'll put my name on it. Um, yeah, that's epic. Okay, so we've done the past. Mm-hmm. We've touched on the present, mm-hmm. and now we're moving into the future. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is where your astronomer skills come in. <laughs> um, so basically, are are there anything? Is there anything in the future? If you could draw it up perfectly that you would like to see in your life. I do this part of the pod because uh, I always like replay value. And even if it's not for everybody, it's for yourself to say like, yo, I remember back in 2020 when I was mid Pandeezy and I said I wanted to do this or I mm-hmm. wanted to work on this in my life. Or I wanted X, Y, Z so you can come back and be like, and I did it. You know what I mean? Right. Of course. Or I didn't. I mean. And I let myself down. I mean. If if I, like, in a perfect world that I hadn't studied what I studied, I would have, like, written a whole other thing. But going off of where I am now... That's all you can do? um, See, it's different for me because I have to factor in that I want to have children. So that's going to take some time um, out of my story. Yeah, yeah. But I would like to get married, have kids. Okay, family, boom, did that. Yeah, yeah, Um, yeah. All the while, like, my ideal situation would be to have build my own gym in my home right have a home gym have clients that i train got it and then also be able to train people online like whether that's like have workout programs with like nutrition and whatever like have the whole package online and then have clients in real life because i just love like working with people physically Mm -hmm. um and then have my kids and my thing and then (laughs) my thing (laughs) I yeah. <laughs> have my kids and my whole thing going Kids and some finish it over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But ideally, it would be like that type of situation and then be able to do what I just told you about and open some kind of gym slash facility. Um, yeah, we're going to say facility yeah, because gym sense. is too small. Yeah, facility. Yeah, yeah. facility. Um, where my own children can go train at. Right. And um, yeah, and do that. That's how it would be for me. That's okay. If I could just be like, oh. Let me just. From right now, where I am right now. Totally. To that. That's what's up. I love yeah. it. Well, thank you for stopping by the pod. This has been The Journey of Brandon Thomas, featuring the lovely Tori Brown. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank um, you.